Welcome to the 2025-2026 season of first LEGO League Challenge. This is the unearthed field kit and first out of the box is the field mat. There are a lot of bags in this box so we are going to speed up this part of the video. We will do a closer inspection of each bag after everything is out of the box. We've only pulled out a few but it looks like there are more bags in here than last year. According to the box there are 1743 pieces this year which is only 58 more than last year. But this field kit does have a lot more basic bricks. Lots of these bags also have small pieces. Some of the colors make it obvious which mission models are in each bag. Here is another bag that isn't numbered. There are some interesting frames that could be useful for building in future seasons. This bag could be for two different missions. Most of the pieces in this kit follow the same color scheme as the field. Lots of greens, brown, and gray. More unnumbered bags with frames, long beams, and plates. We are getting close to emptying the box. Last in the box are these rock wall things and larger gray frames. Bag 1 and 2 are pretty obvious. That trident piece can be seen in some of the videos shared from the World Festival. These are definitely for the Yellow Crane mission. The gears makes us sure. Bags 3 and 4 got us confused at first. Both the bucket lift and trident missions use these curved light green pieces. But since bag 4 has these bucket looking things we figured it out. Bag 5 is for the moving garden. There are a lot of these leaf pieces. We are sure the light green frames from the unnumbered bags go with this mission. Bag 6 is for the dinosaur thing in the middle of the field. There are lever arms in the unnumbered bag that will also be used. Bag 7 has a lot of regular Lego bricks and the light green curved pieces. This is for the Trident mission. Bags 8 through 10 are for the mine cart mission. The tan oval from the unnumbered bags will be used for the other side of the north wall. There are a lot of the dark brown beams and these light blue bricks that decorate the side of the mission model. You can see the mine cart wheels and the minifig pieces in bag 10. Bag 11 is filled with regular Lego bricks for the broken walls around the amphitheater. We figured out bag 12 and 13 because of the red pieces. These look like random pieces because the gray plate and gray 15 beams will come from the unnumbered bags. Bags 14 and 15 are for the table flip mission. The red angled beams and all the red Technic pins with studs that were shown on the release video make us pretty sure we got this one right. Bag 16 has the red beam to release the boulders in this corner mission. Bag 17 has the obvious boulder pieces. Bags 18 and 19 have all the roof bricks for the rock wall mission. There are light gray plates in the unnumbered bags that will be used for this mission. There are some interesting gears in bag 19 that we don't see in the release video.
Bags 20 and 21 are for the shipwreck mission. The red pieces make it obvious and there are frame pieces in the unnumbered bags that will also be used. Bag 21 has the tan plates that are clearly shown in the release video. Bag 22 has the regular penalty point bricks and tiles with the season logo. This bag has a lot of brown beams and black frames for the minecart missions. Gray plates are for the rock wall. We have the black triangle frames for the crane and light green frames for the garden mission. Tan plates for the table flip and long, light gray lever arms for the dinosaur are in this bag. More frames for different missions models. And of course, the gray rock walls that will be used for the table flip and boulder release missions.